we're here with Dan Sevier. Uh, under 16s Marathi, how's the squad look and how are we feeling leading up to it? Ah, it's excitement, that's the best way to put it. Um, the squad's looking good, it's a strong squad, they've been fantastic all season. It's been a really difficult decision to select a squad because we've had some under 15s that have been training up with the under 16s this year and no, it can only, they can only be a credit to themselves, their clubs and obviously the centre itself but no, excitement's the best word for it. Uh, how good is it to have Muratis back amongst the younger age groups as well as the uh, older ones leading up, uh, coming up next month? Look, the Muratis are the pinnacle for the kids. They absolutely, it's, this thing, it's the one thing that they look forward to and it's the one thing that they're desperate for from the minute they get involved in a programme with us and a chance to represent Jersey. So it's a great opportunity to have them back. I unfortunately have been involved in the programme for the two years that the Marathis haven't been able to so I've seen players that have trained with us all season and unfortunately not had the opportunity to go and have that showpiece at the end of it so training with these boys now and having that showpiece at the end of the programmes is going to be good for them. How important is it for their development as well these games? Look, these are the these are the games that you want to play. So in previous years, we've had opportunities like the South East County Cup and things like that, where you've got to play against teams in the UK. But it's going into a different environment against different players and teams that play a different style. So I can't say that I know how Guernsey will play, but you know by previous Marathis, it's going to be competitive. It's going to be something that some of these lads might have not experienced before. So being 16 year olds and going into their first Marathi, that's that's the learning, and hopefully they're going to be confident in their own abilities. What I am. In them. Yeah, and obviously it's in Guernsey. How are you going to tell them to deal with the pressure of the away crowd on you? Look, I know it's a cliche, but you've just got to treat it like another game. And you have, I know it's you, it, the emotions will run high at times, and the lads, you can see they're eager for it. They've been talking about it for the last couple of months. They've, the minute the smile on their face when I said that, look, it's definitely on, and we have a book date, you could see that training and everything just lifts. And like I said, it's cliche, but treat it like another game. Control the emotions, concentrate on what we do, and do what we do to the best that we can do. Uh, final question Are you confident to get the win? I've, I've got to give all my confidence to these lads and I can only put it on what I've seen in training week in, week out and they're a very good group. The personalities within the group, I feel, but yeah, confidence is definitely key and if I'm confident, then hopefully they go into the game confident and let's just see where we go from there. Oh man, good luck.